Hey, what's going on? Will Hamilton here. And do you not like coming to net because you feel like you've got bad hands? A lot of the time you're like, well, that's not where I was trying to hit my volley. I was trying to put it away, not pop it up. Well, if that sounds like you, then I want to invite you to pick up a copy of Volley RX because inside 17 time Grand Slam doubles champion, Gigi Fernandez shows you the 13 types of volleys. And when you start adding these volleys to your game, that's when you'll go from bad hands to great hands. And whether you're dealing with a backhand poach, a reflex volley, a half volley, whatever, your volleys will actually go where you want them to go, at least most of the time. So what I wanna do right now is take you inside Volley RX so that you can see if it's right for you. And I wanna show you literally one of my favorite volley tips of all time. This one tip will show you how to handle high, medium, and low volleys. Now, before we get to that lesson, let me briefly introduce Gigi in case you don't know who she is. So Gigi Fernandez is one of the greatest doubles players of all time. She won 17 Grand Slam doubles titles. And the reason is because she had amazing hands. Now, part of that, of course, is because she was a phenomenal athlete, but a huge part of it is because no matter what shot her opponents hit at her, when she got up to the net, no matter what shot they hit at her, no matter what type of volley she was dealing with, she figured out the small adjustments she had to make to her technique to handle that type of volley. So whether she was hitting a half volley, a high volley, whether she was poaching on her forehand or her backhand, whether she was trying to hit a sharp angle volley, she knew the small adjustments she needed to make to her technique to put the ball where she was trying to put the ball. So after Gigi retired, she started coaching USDA league and club players. Now, a lot of recreational players don't have great hands, but it's not because they don't have the ability, they just weren't taught these small little adjustments that allow them to hit the volley where they're actually trying to hit the volley. What Gigi does today is she travels around the United States and she hosts clinics where she teaches players, club players, how to play the net. So when I saw the success Gigi's students were having, I was like, Gigi, we gotta put this stuff online so everybody can see it. So we flew down to Tampa, Florida, that's where she lives, and we filmed with her for two days and we put it inside Volley RX. So now let's go inside and check out one of the lessons so that you can see if it's right for you. So we're gonna talk about the first volley, right? So of course, when you serve a volley, the first volley is critical. What do you do with it? Where do you wanna hit it from? The closer you are to the service line on your first volley, the easier first volley is gonna be, right? And also we talk about, we don't wanna hit the serve 100% of full power because the harder you hit the serve, the faster, the faster it's going back, the less time you have. So we're looking for a three quarter pace serve that gets you hopefully around the service line. In my heyday, it was the service line. Now I'm probably gonna be a couple steps behind the service line, which is fine. But the timing is critical of the split. You want to make sure you split when the opponent's hitting the ball. And then the first volley, um, different than, you know, you can call, also call this a transition volley uh, because you're transitioning through the shot. You're not stationary at the net or hitting a volley. So it looks a little bit different technically than your regular volley because you're going to see that I'm going to walk through that shot. As I hit that shot, I'm, my feet are moving forward. I'm not hitting the volley and then coming back and setting, right? So... Um, so depending on where it is, we'll we'll you know we'll have to adjust whether it's a high volley, waist waist level volley, below level of the net. But specifically on the first volley, what you're looking for is to hit it deep. You want to hit a deep cross court, preferably in the singles court. If you hit it wide, you're opening the angles. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you want to get it away from the net player. Hopefully, um, you know if you see them post, you can go behind them. But you generally want to hit this ball deep cross court. Okay. See you. All right. So. Some transition volley. So, preferably four hands. I'm just coming or wherever. <sighs> you. <laughs> so let's talk about that one for a second. Uh, you went at the net player there. So talk about just you get a high return. Yeah. What do you? So I went to the net player because the ball was super high, right? Yeah. So anytime I have a ball that's above the level of the net, and I feel fairly comfortable. Mm -hmm. I take it out the net player. They have less time to react. So that's basically like I'm trying to go at, like, where are you aiming that, first of all? I just at, at her feet. feet. At her yeah. feet, yeah. Right at her feet. She popped it up. Yeah, and obviously if it Ray was told point. not to play, so he didn't, but normally Ray would have that <laughs> ball. Put it away. <laughs> right? Talk a little bit then about, because, you know, in a uh, in another segment, the more mid-range ball you volley it back at, 
uh, the the returner there. It's high, so now you're going to you're just outright trying to win the point. Talk about the high volley technique yeah, there. That's so, one where people really struggle with it. Yeah, so there's three general positions you can hit the volley from. You can hit above the shoulder. So we'll call that position one. You can hit waist level volleys, right? So somewhere around the waist, call, call that position two. And then you can hit volleys below the level of the net, mm -hmm. call that position three. The key to all three of those, they end in the middle position. So if you have a high volley, you want to come high to low, but you don't want to cross the horizontal plane and hack down on it. That's a very common mistake so for players. If I'm saying I got one, I got two, I got three. So it doesn't matter if I'm hitting, if I'm starting, if, is it one here? Yeah, if you start at one, you end at two. Okay. If you start at two, you end at two. And if you start at three, you end at two. Okay. Because you have when, it, when it's low, you have to come up. <sighs> yeah, oh, that, was, that. that was one to two. Yeah, you know, those shows those high balls look easy, but they're not. Well, you didn't overswing on that one, but I think the key takeaway is that was one to two. And, you know, it wasn't a massive swing. It was obviously a put away. <sighs> so, Gigi, that one looked maybe on the slightly lower end yeah, of a, a mid-waist mid level. Waist yeah, level. Yeah. yeah. So that was the two to two volley. Yep. Right. That uh, obviously we've talked about the technique in a separate section. But when you get the, the, the waist high, the two to two volley, where does it go? So at same, I'm trying to hit it deep in the singles court. I'm going to feed it. I'm going to just hand toss it. There it is. Nice. <laughs> so that one is three to two. Right. They're low. I have to come up. And people will see that like. I hit that wide though. You hit that wide, but it was. A, I was it, feeling it. You were feeling exactly. I mean, you're again, 17 grand sign doubles titles. We would go more back at the returner, but. I think folks will be able to see you just started at three, ended at two, and you were able to lift that ball over the net. Uh, you weren't doing anything crazy with your hands. It was just pretty clean technique. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you got the angle, but everybody else will be able to just put that right back through the middle. Right. So now I want to show you another lesson from inside because the three, two, one volley technique there obviously allows you to handle high, medium, and low volleys. And you're predominantly going to be using that stuff when you're serving and volleying. So now let's check out a video where Gigi shows you the footwork needed to go from the baseline to the net. Gigi, the transition volley, again from the baseline up to the net, one of the toughest shots for uh, club players. And in particular, the footwork is something that gets right. messed up a lot. Yeah, so the, you know, the difference between a transition volley and your regular volley that you're hitting up there is that you're really walking through the shot. Right, so you're not stopping as you hit, um, and then you're not, you know, when you're hitting a volley from, from the net, you might take one or two steps and then you gotta come back, so you're not as committed to the forward movement. But in the transition volley, as you hit this ball, you kind of keep r walking through it. Yeah, you're moving forward. through it. Yeah. yeah, so then it's super important that you have very little movement of, of your racket and your arm, and then you're, you're gonna get that power with, and the depth that you need, you're gonna get that from your body moving through the shot. Okay. And you can do this, uh, obviously, when you're serving and volleying, but in this case, we're going to demo it as, yeah, a, on the rear. as a return, and you'll come forward. Yeah, so I'm going to return, I'm going to come forward. Um, but like you said, I could serve and come in and hit my first volley transition, sure. which deal. is more like a first volley, yeah. a serve and volley, but this is more like a transition volley. They're both transitional because you're transitioning from the baseline to the net, but when you're returning, you're more likely to get a higher ball. Yeah. Now, a transition volley can be high, low. It could be a half volley transition volley. It could be waist level it could be any Whatever, you don't know yeah. what the opponent is going to hit you else so you have to be ready for all of them but you're moving but through the, the shot that's the them. thing that right all of these you're going through the shot all right let's demo that hold up ah. Ah. Yeah, so that's a pretty good example. Like I'm just transitioning through. Yeah, I mean the way uh, you make it look very easy, like you're just sort of casually. It's a casual moving. shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not trying to put it away. I'm not trying to hit a winner. Yeah, you just, I mean, you got that nice and deep and then you were, because you had moved through the ball, you, your next volley, you're 
close to the net and you can angle it for a winner like you did. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's it's very much about getting yourself in position for that second volley you hit. Yeah. So that was a look inside Volley RX. And if you thought that was awesome, you can pick up a copy by scrolling down this page, clicking that button to check out. And a few short minutes from right now, you can check out all 13 volleys, the high volleys, the low volleys, the poached volleys, the swinging volleys, the lob volley. That's one of my uh, personal favorites. Angle volleys, half volleys. Don't know if I'm repeating myself at this point. But there's 13 types of volleys inside of this thing, and you can check them all out inside this program. In the past, when we worked with talent like Gigi Fernandez, our programs have run as much as 397 bucks. But what we want to do as part of a special deal is let you get access to everything for just one payment of $67. So when you pick up a copy, you are also getting three awesome bonuses. And the first is on this tab right here. It is Overhead RX. So there are five types of overheads, the standard overhead, the slice, the scissor kick, the goot, and the bounce overhead. And when you add all five of these overheads to your game, it makes it very, very difficult for your opponents to lob you, which means you can get really close to the net, and that makes it much, much easier to put away volleys. So separately, overhead RX is 97 bucks, but you get it for free as a bonus when you pick up a copy of Volley RX here on this page today. The second bonus is Gigi's Complete Practice Program, which is this tab right here. And if you play on a USTA league or at your club, you'll want to get your hands on the practice program because inside, Gigi shows you her drills that make all 13 types of volleys automatic. So whether you want to practice just by yourself, 1v1, or with your team, Gigi has got you covered with her practice program. So separately, the practice program is 97 bucks, but you get it for free as a bonus when you pick up a copy of Volley RX. The third and final bonus is a super bonus. It is the GG method. So the GG method is where GG adapted the strategies and tactics she used to win 17 Grand Slam doubles titles. She adapted them so that USDA league and club players can use them. So Volley RX up here in the corner, that is where she adapted the volley technique and then the GG method, that's where she adapted the strategy part, right? So when you marry these two programs, they're the perfect complement, and we'll have your doubles game covered from A to Z. So the GG method revolves around two formations, the stagger. This is the absolute best formation in doubles. And then the highway to hell, this is the absolute worst formation in doubles. So inside, GG is going to show you and your partner how you can get to the stagger as often as possible while also maneuvering your opponents into the highway to hell. And when you're able to do this over and over and over, that's when your odds of winning the match go through the roof. So in the past, we sold the GG method for $197, but this thing is totally free. You get it as a bonus when you pick up a copy of Volley RX. So when you add up everything you're getting, you're getting Volley RX, that's the $397 value. You're getting Overhead RX, a $97 value. You're getting the practice plan, also a $97 value, and you're getting the GG method, $197 value. You add all that up, it comes out to $788, bucks, but you can get access to all of it for just one payment of $67. Bucks. So all you got to do is scroll down this page and click that button to check out, and you'll have access to everything just a couple minutes from right now. Now, you are also protected by our 365-day, no questions asked, money back guarantee, which means you can take all of this training for a test drive for the next year. And at the end of that year, if you're like, you know what, Will, this just wasn't really my thing, no worries. Just send us a one-line email and we will give you a complete refund. So there is no risk uh, to you for trying this out. So again, all you got to do is scroll down this page, click that button to check out. And if improving your volleys and, and going from bad hands to great hands and being able to actually put the volley where you want to put it, if that's important to you, whether it's your singles game or your doubles game, I think you're going to be really happy that you gave Volley RX a test drive. So one more time, just scroll down this page, click that button. You'll have access to everything just a couple minutes from right now.